right up morning guys welcome to today's video <laughs> molly's staring at me at the door she's outside waiting she's she probably like crying to go out yeah and she's probably like it's freezing she anyway good morning is the crack of dawn and sylvia and i are getting ready to go down and do chores what's the plan um we're gonna you're gonna feed chino and give me the green bucket so i can feed the mares okay and then um you're gonna throw hay for the mares and then you're gonna go throw hay for Chino. And then I'm gonna let Honey out while you do hay for- Why Chino. does it feel like I'm doing all the work? I'm telling you what dad does. Okay. So complain. Yeah, dad did all the work. Yeah. So you're just feeding the mares, just, okay. You do the arena and Chino stall, and I'll do Honey. Okay. And then we go up. Okay, all oh, right. And you have to do every single thing, like water and hay for Chino. Okay, sweep it. so basically you guys are probably like, what the heck is happening? Okay, so it's usually, so it's we've so lived here, we are on our fourth year of living on this little farm, our fourth year, you guys, and uh, the girls and I do chores every single day for almost all those years, but when Sam is home, when Sam is not working, he does chores, and it's so amazing because it frees me up to clean the house, and... Um, get homeschool ready and do laundry and do all the things that I have to do It's so much easier if one person does the barn and one person does the house And I always tell Sam like let's trade off if you want to do the house one day And I'll do the barn so that we're like not doing the same thing every day because that can get on your nerves And he says no <laughs> He will not do the house ever so or the homeschool stuff So anyway, it works out really well for us. We all in our family have different jobs and it's amazing so today Sam is away <laughs> And I'm doing chores and I haven't done them for like probably a year. No, I did them like about a month ago, two no, months ago. No, you did them last year. Yeah, last year technically because it's 2023 now. But anyway, we're going down. Sophie had to tell me the rules. And some people think like my kids are sassy when they talk to me, but I love that. I love hearing their like personality em emerge. I love the sarcasm and I love the like. I lo as long as they aren't mean, I think it's great to foster their personality. So, where does Gabby play in all this? Gabby! Gabby, are you awake? Yeah. It's always the last one up. She takes forever Guys, to get ready. So, what do we do about Gabby? If we're yawning, do deaf people think we're screaming? Okay. <laughs> That's random. Okay. But do they? Yeah. Okay. So. <laughs> what does Daisy think? Ah! <laughs> so my question, so about Gabby. So like I said, we all have different plans and we all do different roles that we're all best suited to, kind of like a job. Like you do what you're best, best able to do. So Gabby does nighttime chores. So Sophie does morning chores. Gabby does nighttime chores. And on the weekend, they both do nighttime chores and they, and Sam does morning chores. So we have it all set up in a way that fosters our mental health. Because if I do the same thing every day over and over and over and over, I get so down. But anyway, let's go see if I can follow Sophie's rules. You think I can do it? Yeah. You don't want me to complain? Yeah. Okay, if shut up, Laura. If you complain, you go back up to the house and come back down later. Ooh, that, that could work for me. <laughs> no, but you're not leaving me in a barn. I'm a haunted barn by myself. <laughs> That's not a haunted barn. It is. Hi, Penny Pickle. She's like, come on, just get in here. <laughs> I'm waiting for my breakfast. I'm waiting for Sophie because this door gets locked at night. So she had to go around and let me in. She doesn't even open it, she just unlocks it. Oh, <laughs> she's already changing what we're supposed to be doing. Too slow. Too slow. <laughs> she's there, she knows, she knows the drill. Another thing is, yeah, another thing is that I feel. Oh, you're already waiting for me. Aww. So I film. So filming takes time too. But the plan, the reason Sophie told me her plan is because she wants to get down here, get the job done and get the heck back up because it's really cold today. You guys remember when I bought this? I don't even remember what it's called, but it's like a, this thing <laughs> that you, it follows your horses. It, my boss is breathing down my neck, but basically this holds your phone and follows movement. So you can use it like a tripod to film stuff. <laughs> She's such a sassy thing. <laughs> no, pack the, food. pack the food. Good girl. All right, hay is not my favorite thing. And the horses don't like these buckets. 
but I don't like throwing it like far away from the shelter because I want them to be able to stay warm and the shelter blocks the wind. But Chino blocks the shelter so Penny can't eat over here. So I walk around and I feel where the wind isn't <laughs> and then I throw it there because I feel bad. Oh, Sophie's screaming at me. What? What? I threw hay. They don't like the buckets. No, they take it out of the buckets. No, I didn't put any in the buckets. No, they don't eat it in the buckets. Chino does. Well, I put it. He digs for the chaff. I put it beside the buckets. Well, Sophie wants me to just throw hay and go, but I don't care about like being fast. Okay, I do because I'm already frozen. Then I do care that all of our horses have the opportunity to thrive in a herd. Like I don't care about being fast and and doing it the easy way. I care about doing it in a way that all of them get fed. Like. Fed and cold are hard things for me. I can't handle my horses being cold or my pets being cold. And I can't handle them being hungry. That's like why it's so hard for me when Macy died. It's like I just think she's cold all the time. Like, I hate that. But anyway, let's keep going. Sophie's getting upset with me. It's been hours and we're still working. Yeah, because you were playing with my phone. Yeah, like Sophie, Sophie wants her horses to do like a show. Like she wants her horses to be she wants to put on a show. And I think that's so good. Like she knows what she wants to do with them. And that's so important. But a lot of people won't agree with the things that she teaches her ponies because it's not traditional stuff. It's trick stuff. And I get it. It's different. It's new. It's not super popular. Hey, I right. What? What did you say? Before? I said it's new. And it's something she's going to do. That's what. Oh. Anyways, so Sophie wants to do this with her horses, like her minis. And this is, and I love this. Like, I want to do it with my pony that I don't have. <laughs> I do. Like, I see this in our future. She wants her ponies to do, like, perform. She wants them to perform, not, like, do traditional shows. And that's okay. That's, that's different than what most people do, and that's okay. Like, she's... Doing her own thing, and I love that. She can do what we just taught her, and Willow can do the rest. And honey, honey literally will learn anything. Oh, like, yeah. so if we just spent minutes teaching her something. She's back. <laughs> I know. And it was incredible watching the process of her learn. Hello. Like, this little mini. Oh, you are. Did you hear she just said hello to you? This little mini. She's so cute and saucy. Yeah. And you know what's so weird about her? It's that she's an Appaloosa, and Appaloosas are normally stubborn, but and both of her parents are Appaloosas. So it's just bizarre to me that she's not a sassy, like she's really not a sassy. She's so submissive. I see so much happiness in this little foal. Like, she, she always looks up at me and seeks attention from me, like looks into my eyes, but she's just friendly. Like, I don't know if any of our horses are as friendly as she is. Like, Willow is friendly. Yeah. Well, actually, Gracie. Yeah, no, Gracie friendly. is our most friendly. Oh. It's a Palomino thing. I don't think Willow. Willow just does all the tricks she knows until she I gets know. a treat. Willow just continually does tricks until she... But I think, like, this is, this is who we are. This is who Sophie is. And I want to join you. Can I get my own mini and join you? I'd have to train her. No, I want to train her myself. Okay, honestly, it's been hours, and I'm warm. Are you warm still? Yeah, I'm uh, starving, but I'm yeah, hungry. I'm hungry too. And I haven't eaten since last night. We took so long to do chores because we played so much. Oh yeah, that's. Uh, if you want to get done fast, do chores with my father. If you want to get chores done fun, go with your mom. <laughs> For sure. But anyway, we had so much fun, and I got to test out my gloves to see if they're waterproof. They're wa at least water resistant for sure. Me and Dad barely even talk when we do chores. <laughs> yeah. And I'm like, huh, let's do this. Do you want to do this? Let's play just with like, this. It makes me more focused when we don't talk. But like, he's just like, Sophie, do great. And I'm like, okay. Yeah, but. And I say, Dad, I'm going to the car. It's so good for kids to grow up and have experiences with their mom and their dad because it teaches them to get like the, both, the best of both of them. All right, so if you're following the, the saga of Sophie hating reading, just like her dad, then you might want to know that she got this book. It's a graphic novel. 
yesterday at the store. Sophie, how's the book going? I finished it. She finished it. Less than 24 it hours. It's a really good book. So basically, it's about finding the kind of books that you like to read. Wow, that's... Like, if you took all the pictures out of this book, it'd be like two pages. Uh, I know. <laughs> I know. Don't you wish you were allowed to read those when you were growing if up? I had these when I was a kid, I'd probably read them. Mm-hmm. Molly's like, play with me. Those books that were like, okay, they're half the size of this. But they were... Um, Full pages? Go to page... 23 if you choose to yeah Sophie likes those that too new TikTok trend <laughs> Sophie likes things. those too I know and I then I go to page 23 and goes uh oh I died I'm going back uh go to page yeah <laughs> Sophie likes those too okay Gabby so uh, did you get books yesterday no you had okay. what happened to your books I had to order them so Gabby's books are about to arrive school just ended the girls are having lunch we're just getting ready to go outside and feed the horses lunch but before we do I want to show you guys something that Ike's that I discovered that Molly does yes a, a few days ago I've been waiting to show you guys this she Molly is a border collie and she is made to herd she's herding stock she comes from herding stock she doesn't come from like a show quality home she comes from a herding quality home her dad was a champion show herder so the other day I was just sitting here minding my own business and I saw I started making sounds like a sheep and then something happened. And then every time I do it, the same thing happens. So let's see. Bah! <laughs> bah! 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 <laughs> you know, wait, take away the toy. No, it's the, just, it's the toy. Every time I, I, <laughs> who's stronger? <laughs> oh, Molly. Okay. Molly just, Get it, get it, Molly, get it. Alright, let's see who's strongest. Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Molly just lets Daisy win. Get it, get you it. You think that's it? it? Get it, get it, Molly, get it, get it. No, Daisy's oh, actually stronger. Get it, get I don't know, I think Daisy's stronger. Get it, get it. She is. Get it. Like, Daisy doesn't look concerned at all. <laughs> okay, so everybody just sit down. Everybody just sit down, mind your own business, pretend we're not here, pretend we're not doing anything. <laughs> she wants to kill the sheep. She wants to kill the sheep. I don't know about you guys, but to me it seems like she understands that anything that makes the ba sound should be murdered. <laughs> clearly she wants to clearly she wants to herd sheep, you guys. Clearly. Don't you know that you're beautiful? Just